Hello, my awesome and amazing Libras. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Full moon in the sign of Aries, which started in and around October 16th into the 17th, but that full moon energy resides for about three days. Today is October 19th of 2024. So let's see how this full moon in the sign of Aries uh, energy could be affecting your zodiac sign or what could be coming in towards you if something's going to get banished or cleared out. And sometimes even the full moon energy can also expose truths. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes people even come back from the past <laughs> during a full moon. So let's see what's going on, Libra. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Libra viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Number two. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 15. We could see the strength card kick in, possibly the hierophant, the magician, the high priestess, the hierophant, the hanged man card, the devil card, and or possibly the moon card. Any of the knights could kick in. You could be 21, 25, 28, 51. 52, 55, or 58 years of age. You could have been born in 1951, 1952, 1955, or 1958 for my more mature audience. Others of you could have been a product of the 80s, could have been born in 1981, 1982, or maybe even possibly 1985. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Others of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Others of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. And maybe for another group of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. So that's what's coming up in the power of the numbers for the moment. But full moon in the sign of Aries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Trusted ancestors of my Libra viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective? message please from this full moon in the sign of aries what's going on ah looks like you need to do a little bit of rest and recuperation libra maybe you've been over exerting yourself being a people pleaser doing a lot of things for other people it's time to rejuvenate yourself go within you could be doing a lot of thinking right now which is what the aries energy can do because aries rules over the headspace so there could be a lot of deep-seated reflection going on. Some of you guys could also even be a Reiki healer or you've been thinking about taking Reiki. So you might want to get on that Reiki bandwagon because a lot of you guys have natural healing talents. Okay, so don't second guess yourself. Maybe go for that certification. Maybe even become a Reiki master. But either way, this could talk about... Rest and rejuvenation. You might need this downtime right now just to think about where you want the rest of 2024 to go for you. Ah, yeah. Spirit right now is trying to block your energy or you are spiritually protected, meaning blocking you from toxic people, places, things, or situations. Or this could be about you setting some healthy boundaries. Again, are you being pushed to the limits right now? You might be dealing, um, I've got again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy coming in through the Four of Swords. You might also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Mm. The Queen of Coins. You might be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn more specifically. 
Something here maybe about a mother figure, maybe grandparent, um, your personal success, your personal success going on right now, building up a business. A lot of you guys have the entrepreneurial spirit, clarifying the queen of coins. Somebody wants to apologize or reach out and communicate with you. The page of cups, rest and rejuvenation, or this person is a little bit intimidated by you, but you're also meant to rise to the top. You could be already an established celebrity, or maybe you have a crush on somebody who's in the public eye. Or this is you, you coming into the public eye. Whatever these brilliant ideas that you have going on right now, Libra, you're meant to go for the gold. That's how I see it. Clarifying the star, the queen of wands, passion, a driving force, motivation, this could be you getting a spring in your step, maybe reinventing yourself right now before the end of the year. The only person that you need to be in competition with Libra is yourself. I definitely feel setting boundaries. You could be setting boundaries with, there could be some females in your family who gab, gossip, and whisper. I'm just looking at the pattern here. Somebody tried to get the one up on you. You might would have you might have gone on the defense or the attack, maybe trying to set those boundaries. You may also be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's spying in on you, or there have been wanting to reach out or they are attracted to you. A lot of times with the pages, this can also represent um, new love, new love opportunities. The world card, you might meet this person on a social media platform or they could be at a distance from you. Somebody may be wanting to travel or reach out and communicate or something is closing out. You're closing out old karmic patterns and cycles at this time frame. Yeah. Closing out old karmic patterns and cycles, like getting away from toxic people, places, things, situations. You could also be on the search for a new job right now. Your job situation may be stretch, like stretching you beyond your means, maybe because the company is short staffed and you're having to kind of ante up on the, on the extra work, work that's not even technically maybe the department that you work in. Or overwhelmed with creativity, overwhelmed with ideas and how to project yourself forward. Either way, the overall message is Libra. No matter what you're faced with, you're dealing with, you need some downtime. You need to start reflecting and going within. And what is going to make you happy? Got the beautiful strength card coming in. Standing up for what is right, having courage. Knowing thyself. I'm hearing that phrase, know thyself. Again, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Clarifying strength, get the beautiful sun card, Leo energy, whatever the noise is, or your perpetrators, or your friends, your family members who haven't given you that backup support, you're meant to rise to the top. The sun will shine again for you. You're meant to be very successful, Libra. Clarifying the sun, yeah. Whatever, listen, whatever's hidden in the dark is going to come to the light. There could have been a person that was exuding some sneaky behavior. You saw right through them. Set up your boundaries. This could be in regards to a romantic situation or friends or family. Again, somebody try to either get the one up on you or try to play you. 
before I'm hearing from spirit too, before you sign any kind of documents, read through everything. Even if it, it pangs you to read through the fine print before you sign off on anything. You could have been thinking about also too going into business or having a friend or a partner work with you. I don't think that they're going to be the right one for you because they may also have a hidden agenda or they want to steal the spotlight. They want to steal the spotlight or steal your sunshine away from you. Again, somebody trying to get the one up. Let's go into the after tarot. Clarifying the Four of Swords, somebody from your past, or this is a new love connection. Somebody's missing your physical touch, your embrace. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Clarifying your boundaries. Yeah, now you're setting boundaries because of all of the past disappointment with people. Enough is enough. Clarifying the Queen of Coins, we have the King of Pentacles. So there's something here about a divine counterpart or they're going to try to step up to the plate to give you this long-term commitment. Clarifying the king of pentacles. Yeah, equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one-sided. But it also feels to me also too like a job situation where you might get offered. You might get offered a better opportunity, better benefits. Clarifying strength, the knight of cups. Maybe some of you guys recently received a drunk text message or there might be a drunk text message coming in your direction. Somebody may slur, quote unquote, slur their words or try to over project their love for you, but you're, you're on guard. You're on guard right now. Page of Swords. Again, somebody's spying on you or they want to reach out to you. They have a lot to say. But this person might be overindulgent. They're too much into them. Yeah, they, this person in the past could have left you high and dry, Libra. Left you with nothing. Mm -mm. No honorable person is going to walk away from somebody that they love. Okay? That's the bottom line. And I feel like you gave this person numerous chances. And they kept failing. Now you got to set those boundaries. You need to rest, recoup, heal your heart. Because I also look at this Two of Cups as a true divine soulmate coming in. Somebody who's going to step up to the plate more. So part of your manifestations right now, you know, with the full moon energy, bringing things into light, bringing things into fruition. It's all about coming, like everything that we want to come towards us. But then as the full moon starts to decrease in size, then we're moving into this waning moon phase. So really contemplating... What is no longer serving your highest good and banishing and say, you know what, trusted ancestors, I ask for you to take out all people, places, things, and situations that are no longer serving my highest good for my own health, wealth, prosperity, my abundance, for my kids, whatever the case may be. Right now, you got to do you. That's not to say that you're not worthy of love or that love won't come to you. I think a lot of you guys are manifesting for this, but something's trying to close out and you guys are meant to be successful or have a strong home-based business. Again, working for yourself or a better opportunity, maybe with another company, putting yourself back out there again because we have the world card. And again, seeing all the little uh, annoyances in between, like anybody in like your friends, your family members that you know, have been either in competition or you had to block them um, or had to walk away, no contact, just because you're not going to be taken for a fool anymore. And really going into your wisdom and discernment, Libra. You're the justice scales. It's time to start balancing out your life. Go after and get what you want because you only deserve the best. The best healthy relationships the right job or career situation. Yeah. Time to start making yourself that number one priority and time to decompress and go within. So my awesome and amazing Libras, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.